control, right? They're the, the kind of the classic back control. I'm sitting on my butt. I got a seat belt. I got double underhooks, and I'm uh, and Daryl and I are kind of both heads pointing up. But it's also back control. If Daryl's turtled up, and I have a hook in. And now, even though it's it's very similar to, uh, even though my my body position is very similar, the change of the orientation is going to make me make me act a little bit differently, right? I can still see the opportunity when I think about what I, what I want for an armbar. So if I'm here. We're going to say my foot's kind of threaded all the way through. It's all the way across the old belt line in this case. From here, nice and deep. And a, lot, there's a lot of ways you'll end up here in this position. We'll talk about uh, talk about one in a second. Um, this, is a, this is a pretty common position to get in, especially if you're trying to fight for the back control from guard. Um, you'll end up here fairly frequently with this hook stuck across these belt lines. So my foot's all the way out over here. We'll look at the other, the other angle in a second. So now I know from the last technique we just did, as soon as I create a 90-degree angle coming out of Daryl's back, I get start being able to attack the armbar here. So when I'm here, I can't get to the armbar. As soon as I start taking my head out this way, I get access to this submission. So from here, I'm gonna reach up over, reach down over his shoulder, and start looking to loop this arm. So I'm coming across his back here. So I'm going whoop, like this. Start turning my head away. Now I'm starting to cut my angle. Now as I do that, I'm gonna slide my knee across Daryl's back and hook the back of his head with, with, with uh, the inside of my foot. So I'm gonna go here. Nice and tight, boom, land this position. And sometimes that arm will peel out, sometimes he'll hide it if he's gripping up there. I'm just gonna go to my swim move again. But if he doesn't, I can just finish right from here like we've looked at before. You wanna spin around, Daryl? Yeah, good. Daryl's turn it up again. Like I said, my foot's all the way across his belt line. If my hook was inside, in between his legs, I'd look more for a traditional back take. I ended up here for, uh, like I said, a lot of different things can put you here, especially if you're coming out of the guard when you're back takes. So his foot gets stuck. So I'm going across his back, cutting my angle, dragging his foot up over his head. I'm pointing my knee down between his shoulder and his ear. It's right in that little crevice right here where I'm sticking this knee through. I'm going to turn towards his feet just like I would in my spin under arm bar. And now I'm back in that same fight, that, that's, that, that spin under arm bar swim move fight. I can use this to finish. Keep my knees pinched nice and strong, hooking the back of the head, flaring those toes nice and powerful. So I know that that option's there. So now we're going to look at going from the spin move into that back take. So we're going to create another two-way connection. Mm -hmm.